Hey guys, what's up? It's David here from CLE Fan 7 Autos with an in-person autograph recap for the Dayton Dragons, um, which was, or at the Lake County Captains on, um, Monday, June 9th, 2014. Um, I also went, uh, Saturday night, um, which was, would that be Saturday, June 7th, but um, I only got two guys, so I didn't make a recap for that, but I'm just going to include that in this one. So, um, yeah, let's just carry it into it. So, um, I'll start off with what I got on Saturday. Um, I didn't go to the game because I had a tournament this weekend, and I just went up for post game. Um, I just really tried for these two guys um, because I know I have a feeling they're going to get promoted soon, so uh, I didn't want to take any risks. But uh, one guy for Dayton um, had two cards for him. Uh, one of the Reds' top pitching prospects. He's going to be good. Uh, Nick Trevieso on a 2012, I think. Yeah, 2012 Bowman. The 2013 Tops for debut, so 2-2, two two. nice guy. And then uh, one guy in the captains, I figured that this guy's he's going to make it to the majors. Um, I figured he's going to be, basically, if you guys know Josh Tomlin, he's a pitcher for the Indians, I figured this guy's going to be just like him, um, just with a little bit more velocity, uh, Robbie Avilas. I uh, don't know if he'll make it with the Indians or not, but either way, I know he'll make it. So, got him on six, four by sixes, I don't he does have cards, but I don't know what kind. So, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the autograph, but it's right there. Uh, five, and then six. He liked this one. This is from when he was in high school. He was supposed to be a first-round pick out of high school, but uh, the story with him is that he actually uh, required time. He tore his elbow up the last game of his high school season. So uh, that really hurt his stock a lot. I think he was like a seventh round pick by the Indians. So uh, he has a lot of talent. All right, now for uh, yesterday, Monday, uh, for Dayton. Um, I actually did Lake County too, which is like the first time all year I've actually really got guys in Lake County other than Frazier. But um, yeah, so uh, this guy right here, he's not one of Cincinnati's top prospects. Uh, Dayton's obviously Cincinnati's affiliate. If I haven't said that yet, but um, he's hitting like 320. So I figured I'd take a shot with him. Carlton Dahl. Uh, he's a shortstop, I believe. Got about three, uh, four by sixes. Um, and then this one. Next guy, the Reds' first round pick last year. He's not really doing good. I don't know if it's too early to call him a bust yet. It probably is, but uh, Phil Irvin. One, two, and three. I really, I really like this photo. Next guy, uh, I had this picture left over from last year. I just never got it signed. Jeff Gelich and Bo Amaral. Uh, that's Bo Amaral right there. He signed it last year. And then Gelich is back with the team this year. So I brought it, finished it up. So that's good. Um, and then I also got Gelich on two other photos. This is a pretty cool one. And then this one of him when he was in college. He went to UCLA. <clears throat> Next guy, this uh, this guy right here might actually pitch for the Reds later this year. He's on, he's on their 40-man roster. He's a strikeout machine. He's really good. Ismael Guillon. One, two, and three. He's really good for a left-handed pitcher. Uh, next guy, Tanner Rayer. Pretty good prospect for them. He was a second-round pick in 2012, I believe. Two and three. Uh, Nick Trevieso, once again, on three. One, two, and three. And then I also got Robbie Vils again yesterday. Um... Got on three. One, two, and three. Two more high school photos. Alright, a couple, couple more things for Lake County. Um, here is... Uh, this guy is... He's not really a prospect. He was a later on draft pick last year by the Indians, but uh, he's hitting like 330, so I figured I'd get him. Uh, Paul Hendricks. One, two, and three. This is a cool picture. The balls, like, it's really cool. Like, the balls are right there, and then uh, you can see him throwing. It's a pretty cool photo, I think. Uh, next guy, I've had this stuff since the first series. Just never got it done. Uh, Dace Kime, he really liked these photos. He's one of the Indians' top 20 prospects, but he's, like, 0-8 with, like, a 6 ERA. Um, so, uh, they're probably going to, he's not going to be a top 20 prospect at the end of the year, but still figured I'd get him. He hasn't gotten any run support, so that's part of the problem. Uh, so, that's it for the photos. Um, oh, hold on a second. Then I got one baseball last night. Um, uh, for Dayton. Um, it was that pitcher I was talking about. It was really good. Um, on, a, on an official Midwest League ball. 
it is Ismael Guillaume. Um, I was debating whether to get him on a ball or not, and I figured the league's not really, they don't have that many good players this year, so I figured, you know, why not? Um, he's probably going to make it, so I figured it'd be worth a shot. <clears throat> and uh, now for cards, uh, the captain's team set came out a while ago. I just finally got one. Um, I figured I needed to get one yesterday because this was their last home game before the All-Star break. And uh, usually that's when uh, all the promotions happen. So, um, but, but before I get to that, uh, Clint Frazier, he's two apiece now, which kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, I got him on two, two Bowmans pregame. I put four out in front of him. He only signed two. And then I had somebody else get uh, two more for me after the game. So, right there. Um, now for the uh, captain's team cards. Um, big stack of them this year. There's a lot of cards this year. Um, but they also made a bunch of pointless ones, you know, for like the radio announcers and the mascots and all that. But, um, yeah, let me just find the ones. Okay. Uh, these are the ones that I got signed. These first seven are the guys I think might get promoted. So... I made it a priority to get these ones done. Uh, Matt Whitehouse, Jordan Milbrath, Robbie Avilas, Ben Heller, he's the closer, Paul Hendricks, Eric Haas, uh, he shouldn't have even been with the captains this year. Uh, Trevor Frank, he used to be the closer, but um, not anymore. And then of these guys, they just, I got them because they were just hanging out outside the clubhouse. Nelly Rodriguez, if you guys know who Jesus Aguilar is, he's going to be another version of him. Um, big power hitting first baseman. Uh, he just needs a little bit more polishing. So, Nelly, um, Brian Ruiz, Wander Barris, Anthony Santander. His autograph last year was literally like this, like an A and an S, but then he made it a little longer, so that's better. And then uh, Mitch Brown. So, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, and then uh, here's the uh, logo sheet. Um, for Dayton, I could have got more, but, um, there was, like, this drunk lady that was by the bus, so, uh, I didn't really want to stay over there, I kind of went by Lake County after that, but I uh, got everyone that I needed, got all the top guys on it, so, um, yeah, that's about it, so, um, my next series isn't about for another two weeks, um, so, yeah, guys, that's about it for me today, uh, thanks for watching, go Tribe, and see you later, bye.